Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids of the Week video. Thought I would mix one of these in here while I'm doing some more of your suggestions. And just by pure happen chance, hitting on the random page this go around on the cryptids.wikia.com page, it actually came up with a suggestion that was also given recently. So how about that? A random page of the week equaled, in this case, a suggestion that I was looking at just the other day too. So what a better opportunity to talk about this particular cryptid here. Also wanted to thank everyone and wish everyone a happy Merry Christmas. I hope everyone out there, all you fans, uh, anybody old and new as well, gets to have the best, happiest Merry Christmas yet with your loved ones and of course lots of the best presents as possible. And thank you so much again for your continued viewership. I just can't express so much gratitude uh, in terms of what, what has happened to this channel. So thank you so so very much again and then one last thing I'm also posting things now on the community tab within my YouTube channel some of you have seen that in fact too so I'm transitioning my Facebook page over to this one instead that way you'll get to see my musings on a daily basis apparently this community feature is only available if someone has 10,000 subscribers or more so when I heard first heard word about this the other week I decided this is a great way to keep in touch with everyone here with regards to stuff in my daily life so all right everybody so this one this entry has to do with a cryptid that is definitely a great big case of nope like this is one of those things where you do you, you if you thought you just had a fear of something well this thing turns it up to a whole other level there are a lot of people out there in fact that are scared of snakes not me necessarily I'm more scared of those ugly looking insects like those giant uh, centipedes those kind of things with those pincers but no uh, other people are just more you know terrified with anything involving snakes snakes well imagine a snake that also happens to fly so that's what I was saying earlier it's a great big case to nope it has to do with this you're looking at it now not too much info though when it comes to this cryptid it's a little limited but I'll try to present as much as I can here it's known as the Arab harp so let's go ahead and let's talk about all the information associated with this very unique cryptid so what is this Arab harp well first off its name is literally a translation it means Arab snake so if you wonder like where it comes from basically it comes from the Arabian Sea hence its name uh, the Arabian Sea is a place in between somewhere of India and then also uh, Saudi Arabia so you have to go a little bit ways out there in order to come across this creature but yes if you go towards that part of in this case the Indian Ocean you can come across this creature I'm guessing if you get more towards uh, if, if you happen to live near the areas surrounding the sea at least that seems to be the mindset involving this creature as far as the characteristics of it it is as follows it's basically your typical snake it doesn't seem like it's larger than any other snake not necessarily smaller either just your average sized snake and snakes of course already have their own world of fear as I was mentioning earlier with people some some people like me it's just like eh, it's okay and then others are like they just can't smooth they'll become paralyzed with fear just because of the way they look and the way they act such as the case with this snake it's just like the average snake except it has one distinct characteristic that is completely different it has the supposed bat-like leathery wings that come across its sides now as far as what these things are and how big they are there are different interpretations of these wings in some cases they actually engulf the entire sides of the body the left and the right hand side so it becomes far more than wings it seems like it's more on the lines of an actual like part of the creature an actual appendage something along those lines like instead of let's say like a like imagine if you had a bird and you know how wings only take up a certain portion of its left and right hand side well imagine if the wing took up the entire left hand right hand side such as the case here and then in other versions of the Arab Har it's more on the lines of smaller wings maybe even used more to glide rather than let's say fly with it either way though these leathery wings they're supposed to create this action this thing where the Arab Har can instead of let's say jumping from tree to tree 
tree, it can actually fly from tree to tree. Maybe it does something involving like a flap with its wings that allows it to lift itself off the ground and then it'll basically move from point A to point B. And other versions of it, it's more along the lines of a glide. So yes, it does jump from tree to tree and there are snakes, uh, nightmare snakes out there that, that seem to do that. I think there's one in fact that's known as the Chrysopelia, if I'm not mistaken. They jump from tree to tree. That's how they get from one place to another. Well, these things do the same, but the fact that they have these wings on the side, it apparently allows them to glide from the tree. So instead of having to jump from one tree right in it to the next and hope you know that they'll make that jump, in this case, they can leap much farther in quotations leap only because they're gliding the rest of the way down so isn't that crazy imagine running into something like this out there in this world again you have to go towards the land by the arabian sea but if you go there and you see this thing you'll see it jump which is pretty neat in of itself i mean it's quite rare to see a snake do that but then imagine it just jump and then just float through the air and that could totally just imagine the back part of it in this case its tail acting as like a rudder of some sort where it just turns left and turns right it can probably whip its tail in a certain direction and then that causes this thing to move where it wants to go imagine also like if it's on the hunt and it's actually flying towards uh, the closest bit of prey it no longer has to come from the ground it'll come from above which is a far more strategic standpoint uh, when it comes to anything involving hunts because now not only would like as a prey you have to look out in front of you behind you but you have to look up in the air and then that of course makes things much much more dangerous but yes essentially that's all the info associated with this creature this so-called Arab snake found there nearby the Arabian Sea isn't that just crazy any of you fans out there that uh that are just scared of snakes would this just totally just stop you in your tracks seeing something like this uh, if you if you see it whip around from branches to branches or from air to air let me know post those comments below as far as uh, anything else and experiences maybe encounters unfortunately not too much that I could find online and I looked everywhere this creature is rare so wherever it's out there in the Arabian location it just seems to be minding its own business quite successfully there hasn't been too many encounters let alone footage video anything along those lines as far as anybody running into this creature so not that anybody would want to i wouldn't recommend like trying to hunt this creature considering how deadly it is that's another thing too i don't know if necessarily if it's actually uh, uh poisonous or venomous anything along those lines if anybody like knows more info uh please uh, post those comments too i would presume that it is considering a lot of snakes are some aren't of course but you can't take your chances on something like this it would be jumping from one place to another on the hunt it seems like for a reason and so once it latches onto its prey, you could totally imagine just biting it down on it, biting its fangs onto its prey, and then the rest is history. But but that's it. If anybody lives near that area, has gone towards that area, maybe as a tourist, uh, anybody know more info that you'd like to place? Again, please post those comments. It'd be great to hear from everyone else out there. And again, Merry Christmas to everyone. I hope y'all have a fantastic uh, Christmas tomorrow. And get, if 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 you have time off even better and yet you have the best presence and the best family time ever so thank you as always everybody take care